Who are the Irish? And where did we come from? These are such academic questions. What we should really be asking is what power this island holds over us. And in what way does it transform and transfix us upon our arrival here? It's not in the origins of the Irish we should be looking, for these lines of inquiry will lead to arbitrary conclusions and follow dull lines of material and conventional inquiry. Rather, we should follow that beam of sunlight that glistens off the western ocean in the evening and pursue it to Chirnanog. We should watch in the midnight moonlight for that dancing troop of fairies around the ancient wrath. And we should rap upon the door of Sheed and Broga and ask Angus Og himself to reveal Etain to us, glimmering in her crystal bower deep inside the womb of the earth. These are the images of the myth maker, the images of the dreamer. And in the words of Boyle O'Reilly, the dreamer lives forever while the toiler dies in a day. Far beyond the narrow purview of the rational and quantitative mind, there is an indescribable concept, a transformative and magical power. This is the she power. The she are places of transformation, where the young mature in a day and the old come to be reborn where men become fish and take to water, and where women become swans and take to the air. Ireland is a place where the she power is everywhere. This island is bountiful, as Amergen implored it to be. It is beautiful, as Eryu described it. And it is beguiling, as almost every human who has ever arrived here would attest. Ireland and its people, it is said, once saved civilization. There is something here, in the fields and trees and rivers and mountains, in the very essence of the landscape, of an altogether different world, one uncorrupted by the ceaseless scheming of humans, one in many places yet untainted by the frantic madness of man. In The Stolen Child, W. B. Yeats wrote, Come away, O human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. What does it mean to be Irish? We should not be too hasty about looking for our origins. Ultimately, they lie far beyond the shores of this beautiful island. It is what this island does to you and how it transforms you after your arrival here that ultimately makes you Irish. That raw she power that seeps and emanates from every rock and lonely bush will make you Irish if you allow it to, no matter what your skin colour or no matter how far you've travelled to get here.